Hello, good afternoon. It's the deal for Zal here, market analyst at CFDs.com, bringing you a review of the European markets for Monday's end of day trading session, the 7th of August 2017. Please be sure to visit Trade Signal Signals and Market Updates from leading providers at www.tradesignal.com. Certainly download the app at the Google Play and the Apple App Store. Okay, now let's uh, look at the actual stats for today. Bring up the uh, stats here. Okay, so in terms of the uh, FTSE 100 today, finishing up 20 points. The German DAX actually finishing negative, mainly due to German uh, industrial uh, production data certainly coming in negative, more weaker than expected. The French CAC more or less finishing flat. FTSE MIB, IBEX more or less uh, finishing higher, whilst stock 600 certainly down. Okay, so in terms of economic data, um, this today it was really the uh, German. Uh, industrial production numbers that came in weaker than expected this morning that certainly set the uh, tone uh, hence the reason why the German DAX certainly came under pressure okay uh, in terms of the UK nothing really in terms of uh, tier one data other than the fact that you had uh, consumer confidence numbers all overnight certainly coming up consumer spending numbers certainly coming on the weaker side you also had UK house prices certainly on the weaker side okay uh, certainly was a drag on the uh, the, on the actual index itself. Also, you had the concerns with regards to Brexit and the potential Brexit bill as well. Certainly, uh, Ms. Theresa May certainly rejecting the uh, the 40 billion uh, uh, final settlement offer. So again, that certainly is causing some confusion. Also, you had, uh, in terms of Europe, you had the investor, Centix investor confidence number coming slightly weaker than expected as well. So that certainly was a drag. Other than that, it was really uh, Asian markets certainly dictating to a large extent uh, you had the situation in the Asian markets where the uh, uh, Shanghai, uh, the Nikkei, certainly all higher post NFP. So NFP numbers from the uh, US certainly helping sentiment as well to a large extent, given the fact that US equities certainly have pushed higher and broke higher with the NASDAQ above that 5900 zone. Okay, now let's look at the actual technical picture here now, given the uh, the actual uh, car market close. Let's just uh, bring up the stats here. So uh, the German DAX at present. You have um, the bullish engulfing consolidation the next day. The uh, bullish engulfing that was obviously on Friday. Certainly a negative candle today, but certainly to a large extent, obviously uh, trading inside within that inside bar. The 60 minute chart, just keep an eye on this inverted head and shoulders or a higher low. Obviously, the euro itself is still re remaining below 1.18. Uh, the uh, weakness in the euro certainly did help, as you can see here, quite a sharp sell-off in the euro certainly helped European equities. We've had a, a retracement back in the euro today. Even though German industrial production certainly came in the weaker side, we certainly had a retracement today. You have euro GBP pushing higher as well uh, into that 9, 0 0.9050 zone at present. So again, that course, certainly causing a drag. In terms of the uh, the markets now, let's just uh, continue. Uh, the German DAX going back to the 60-minute chart. Keep an eye on that uh, higher low. Okay, 10-minute chart. We certainly have a base being built here at 12225. If that breaks, then you are bringing into in the equation at 12185, and then obviously 12120. So for now, it seems that the uh, resistance has held at uh, 12320. Certainly, uh, have had a quite a prolific reversal on the German DAX today. So quite down quite substantially. I mean, here up to hitting a bit of higher 12335. We certainly reversed on more than 110 pips. Okay, so the German DAX. In terms of the French CAC, let's just bring that up. Okay, French CAC certainly subdued, uh, given the fact that Macron's approval rating is certainly falling now as well. Uh, the French CAC certainly has done well, uh, especially given the fact that the German DAX was down quite substantially. French CAC certainly holding resistance there, as you can see, at that uh, 12, 5220 5, zone. Okay, 5220 was a pivot high. Uh, certainly holding resistance at 5220. We'll see how 5220 certainly performs. The inverted head and shoulders formation target certainly has been completed. If you do push higher, then you have 5240, which is a key diagonal trend line resistance. You have an unfilled gap at 5290 as well. Bear that in mind, and you have resistance at 5260. So let's see how the French CAC performs. 10 minute chart from my perspective certainly is looking weak and you are looking to potentially move lower. That's my interpretation and my understanding. Uh, and again, the euro will obviously dictate if the euro continues to move higher then you are going to see a, uh, a rapid move lower. If the euro continues to move lower then you will certainly see coincide with consolidation stroke higher on the uh, French CAC. So the euro is quite important here as long with the uh, GBP as well for the FTSE 100. In terms of euro stocks, let's just bring up the euro stocks chart here now. The daily chart of the euro stocks you certainly have a market trading uh, sideways 
as you can see here okay so certainly trading sideways here okay so you could have this key of diagonal trend line resistance at three five uh, one six okay so certainly looking weaker here at three five twenty so watch out for resistance in that zone 60 minute chart really using no man's land okay in terms of euro stocks certainly using no man's land you've broken out so you have to respect that okay that's really uh, what we're focusing on for now this key diagonal trend line certainly has broken uh, where we're headed at present i mean you have resistance for now at 3516 and you have resistance at 3525 whether we can retrace lower back to this potential breakout zone here uh, potentially test at 200 ma at 3485 potentially test the lower uh, bound at 3475 but what we do know is that a base has been built at 3440 now you do have an unfilled gap at 3560 so that always remains a potential option on the upside and let's see how the market unfolds yes you do have the uh, possibility of an inverted head and shoulders formation as well Sim very similar to the german dax so for example this could be the left shoulder here okay you've got your head which is your double bottom obviously we're looking to potentially retrace here now and then obviously break higher so let's just see how everything unfolds and if i take the pivot low to the pivot high certainly have a possibility of coming 3485 3480 before the actual rally ensues so again all those possibilities from a technical perspective going forward okay and again a lot of it depends on the euro and obviously economic data tomorrow we have german exports imports trade balance french exports imports trade balance so again let's see how the numbers come in and uh, the markets will react accordingly okay so that's the uh, stance in terms of euro stocks we're going into tomorrow the FTSE 100 certainly remains stellar uh, i think one of the individuals mentioned the potential uh, uh, dividend uh, if the dividend is the main reason why uh, one is buying the FTSE going into Wednesday and Thursday's dividend and that certainly is a factor to take into consideration okay uh, I certainly will not trade based just on a dividend I'll look at the fundamental factors that are obviously affecting the market so at present you do have resistance or you have a wall of resistance in this zone here now coming up to 7540 7545 7555 7560 and then obviously ultimately at seven five or seven six hundred which is the uh, obviously uh, major high so let's see how the markets unfold okay let's see how they fall unfold but the daily chart certainly is coming into turbulence around that seven five forty zone a 60 minute chart you have multiple resistance at seven five forty five seven five fifty five and then ultimately at seven five eighty and seven five eighty five okay uh seven five forty four i'm more than happy to short there provided the uh, the fundamentals certainly confirm the the weakness okay so it has been very impressive a weaker sterling certainly has allowed the FTSE 100 to move higher if i bring up the gbp chart for you folks uh, gbp usd uh, you can see that we've certainly moved lower and which in turn obviously is is a totally inverse move in the FTSE 100 so as you can see sterling does have a major factor on the movement of the FTSE 100 thus far Let's just quickly go to a four hour chart here. Four hour chart, from my perspective, is coming into support. You do have 200 MA below as well. So we have fallen quite substantially. Let's see if that can uh, certainly continue. Okay. In terms of the FTSE 100, let's go back to the FTSE. Uh, FTSE 250, just bear in mind that you are coming into resistance now. And that je generally indicates, given the fact that you have an inverse relationship with sterling, just to indicate that sterling is now looking to potentially bounce and move higher. Going back to the FTSE now 60 minute chart, like I said, watch out for that resistance starting from 7545. The 10 minute chart does have an intraday double top so let's see if that can hold at 7535 you have an unfilled gap be left behind at 7510 so that would be my initial target if i were to short and then obviously you've got support at 7500 and then going down to 7485 etc okay right okay folks i think that's a good summation of european equities again tomorrow you are looking at uh, uh, european data really i think that will be the main factor also overnight you have chinese data as well so chinese data certainly will dictate the bias in the FTSE so let's see how the stats come in uh, and then we'll react accordingly on that note please be sure to visit cfds.com for your training needs take advantage of that bonus and be sure to visit trade signal signals and market updates from leading providers goodbye now